people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted 1, The Curse of Dreadbear DLC. With Help Wanted 2 literally just around the corner in less than a week, I figured it was about time we finished our revisit to FNAF Help Wanted 1. If you remember a couple months back, we revisited and played through the entirety of the main game. It took about two hours long. Uh, DLC though should be much, much shorter because I mean, this is all our mini games. Steel Wolf still has not added a hard mode for Curse of Dreadbear despite all of my prayings at the end of every single day. Uh, but Curse of Dreadbear holds a very special place in my heart and also the heart of this channel because as I'm sure I'm gonna tell throughout this video, plenty of stories. The big one is the fact that this DLC was kind of the launching point of my channel. I did a video going over every single secret and easter egg in this mini game. It got like 100,000 views, it got me on Game Theory. That was about the time I passed 1,000 subscribers, so yeah, a lot of good memories with Curse of Dreadbear. So without wasting any more time, of course the first mini game is the freaking Plushkin patch, because everyone loved the plush babies in the main game, so Steel Wool obviously had to bring them back, right? Oh god. Oh Christ. I am, uh, I think I remember their hiding spots. The tricky thing about these guys is that they can go up in the trees just like that. Perfect timing, thank you, plushkin chica, I guess. There's also like a barn behind you, which is terrifying. There's like a whole bunch of different sounds that can be, that can trick your mind. I'm not seeing them. God, no, you don't want to play. You just want to eat my face. I don't know where you are. This is gonna be bad. Oh yeah, and this is the game over screen. This is probably like the best game over screen, like in the entire franchise. You got Giant Dreadbear, you got Grim Foxy. They're, they're great, they're great. Anyways, Plushkin Patch, the worst minigame in Curse of Dreadbear. <laughs> let's, let's run it back. There's also a Helpy hat right there, which, it, hello. Oh, we're dealing with Foxy now. The Chica Plushkin is no more. I really genu- uh, hello. I genuinely do not know where the Chico one would have been the other time. My strat is usually just like, do this, flash around. The only negative to, to that, hey, I thought I saw you, goddammit. No. No. Hello. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Hello. The only bad part about the flashing strat is number one, it has a horrible name. And number two is that if you flash them, they might just disappear and then move to a different location. Oh god, hello. A little bit, yeah, hey! You're all the way back there? My battery is so low. Hey, it's 2 a.m. though, that's good. I see you. It's Bloom Boy! Hey, Bloom Boy. I didn't know- hey, Chica. There's four? I don't remember there being four! Unless BB is just like a, dis a distraction one, hey. Okay, I got all three of them, let's-, let's Jesus Christ, that's loud! Let's chill out. Let's let the battery charge. God damn it. Hey, I see you. I freaking see you. Hey, I see you. I freaking see you. Hey, Chica. Oh, no. No, Foxy. Foxy. Yeah! I need Freddy, though. I'm not safe if I don't get Freddy. God damn it. Hey, Freddy. Yes! Battery charge! Hey. Hey, Balloon Boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not fair! Hey! Oh, there's two of you! Two for the price of one! There's Freddy. Freddy! Hey! Yes! I have no battery. It is 5 a.m. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. Since when was that a, a freaking thing? I've never been more happy to see 6am, I hate the plushkins. The plush babies I'm fine with, I can do the plush babies. The plushkins though, can go screw themselves. Hello, prize. Any clown posters? Just one. So, to get the it's me thing, if you don't already know, hiya! You gotta get all three clown posters there, 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 and you gotta throw one dart at each of the clown posters. Hiya! And as you can see, it makes a little honking noise. Now, nothing is going to happen, even if I hit that, yum, 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 this poster a third time. Because, like I said, you gotta get these three and not, not just one. So that's why that Easter egg, that It's Me Easter egg in the barn is so hard to get. 
Because it's just, it's just orangey. Like, are you going to get all three of the clown posters? Anyways, after Plushkin, we get a nice relaxing ride. A ride that's coming back in Help Wanted 2, which I'm very happy about. This is Captain Foxy's Pirate Adventure. And then in Help Wanted 2, it's Captain Foxy's Cowboy Adventure, I'm pretty sure. And we go around like the log flume from the Ruin DLC. Foxy! Hello! Welcome aboard, Captain Yippee. Foxy's Pirate Adventure! Oh, I hope Chris McCullough comes back. No, Davy Jones is locker. Yippee! I feel like I'm so tall for some reason. I feel like you used to be so much shorter. Ahoy! Where are you? Ahoy! Whack! <laughs> Yippee! This is so fun! How can anyone dislike this? It's like a Disney ride! Oh, come on! Come on! Yes! If you get all, all of the targets, never mind. I thought there was a bonus round. I'm sad. Show me them storms! Yarg! The storm be brewing! Yarg! That, that's all of them, right? Can I get the bonus round? Yippee. Yippee. <gasps> yeah! Freaking bonus round! Do, 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 do. If only my aim wasn't so bad. Never mind, I'm the goat to do it. And also, throughout the ride, there be no normal storm. Uh, little helpies will pop out. Come on, come on, come on. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Little helpy cutouts will pop out. And if you hit them, you can take you can take alternate paths. I think I got all the targets again. Uh, which I'd assume is going to come back and help on it too, because that was like... That was so fun. I mean, come on, that was awesome. You scurvy land lubber. Oh, I gotta hit the sword. Awesome. I'm, dude, I'm just too good. What can I say? This ride feels a lot brighter. Like, I can see the walls. I don't know if that's a setting I changed or what. Alright, let's 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 get the high score, Buccaneers. There's a Foxy here. There he is. Got him. No, how much a TNT? Oh. So here it is. Captain Foxy's Pirate Adventure. You can help me here on this here adventure. Oh, no. Where's the helpy? There's no helpy. Maybe I missed him. We That actually made me feel a bit sick, I'll be honest. Hey Foxy, hey Chica, hey little jellyfishes, I didn't see you guys. Hi Foxy, you should get some air, Chica. You're a one fine gal. You're a one dynamite gal. Where's the helpy cutout? I want to do one of the alternate paths. I don't think I've gotten all the... Come on, no, it was right there. Shiver me timbers. That's the end, right? I must have missed the helpy. If you guys saw him, let, let me know in the comments. How'd I do? Oh, I bet it's 2.5k. I'm a buccaneer. Yeah, so if you just go it through through the ride normally, you're gonna get a pretty low score. All wolves, that's great. Fun time Foxy plushie, no way. Uh, but if you take the alternate paths, uh, like they're longer, there's more things to hit. Keep in mind that this DLC <laughs> is nothing more than You can tell just how brain rotted I am from that all Easter eggs and secrets video. Because any single time I'm in the hub or I'm at like the barn, I always look around. Like, can I get an Easter egg? What can I do? Though unfortunately most of them just come down to chance. Anyways, as you can see, I want to find a healthy cutout. Oh there he is! Hi healthy! I actually don't I think you have to face that way for me to get the other path. I think I'm going a different way. Yeah, 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 I'm going, yes! Here we go! So this is one of the alternate paths. I think there's about like three paths you can take. This looks to be themed around the pizzeria. I saw all oh, the toy animatronics back there. Yeah, and I think these doors open up, right? Yes! There's Jacko Chica. So there's targets you have to hit and then close the doors quickly before the animatronics get to you. It's so fun! And there's someone watching us, too. Where, 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 where? Here! Chica! Go away. Bonnie! Go away! <laughs> I really hope we get stuff like this in Help Wanted 2, man. It's gonna be so fun. Which one, which one? Surely this one. Nope! They tricked me out! Ah, Bonnie trying to goof me. Trying to goof me, but I'm ready for it. I'm freaking ready for Freddy. Let's see what I got now. Um... 
I need better than a buccaneer. Give me a first mate. Let me be your first mate. I'll take it, Foxy. Look at that. I almost doubled my, my score. What do we get? A chewy treat. How delicious. But now let's move on from the pirate ride adventurer to hallway corn maze. Let's go. I love corn maze. Now, I got some beef with corn maze. Not corn maze itself, but someone who talked about corn maze. My good pal Ambience from the hit YouTube channel Ambience said that corn maze was actually pretty difficult. Now, I'm not trying to brag, but as someone with the, the all-time fastest run in corn maze in history, I would beg to differ. Because I know all the ca all the key locations. I know all the paths you can take to find Hello Crows. To find all the keys. And if you've never seen my speedrun of Corn Maze, this is how it starts. And there should be a blue key, not right there. And that's usually where I'd reset the run. The red key's right here. So the annoying thing about <laughs> this is that I'm going to take the same route that I take. But we are going to have to backtrack to get that blue key. Fox is going to spawn up here. Yep, there he is. You can hear him. And I gotta be careful because he will spot me if I keep going here. So let's stay behind a little bit. Let's hide in this cardboard cutout for Grim Foxy. Wait for the sound. There we go. And then he goes away. There's a chance for the green key to be here. It's not. That's fine. We got another shot of it being out over here. And the orange key's right here. That's perfect. The green key's not there, which is kind of annoying. It could spawn right there, but it could also spawn, so Foxy's behind me currently, down this path right here, and let's hope it's down there. It should be. No, it's not. All right, it could be over here then. Again, this is usually the path that, that I would take in my speedrun. Let's just hope it's over here. Not there. Here it is. All right. Not too shabby. So I guess I should explain why I'm collecting all of the keys instead of just one. Because you do need only one key to escape. You see these gates? There's four around the map. And if you collect one key, you just got to go to the gate that has that color. And then you can leave. It's a pretty standard minigame, but if you get all four keys, then a fifth, a fifth key spawns. Usually I like to have it be right there. Um, let's see, I need the blue key, so I need to go over here. But if you get all four keys, a fifth glitchy purple key will spawn, and then you can find in the basement of the corn maze a glitchy bunny mask. That's right, it's goddamn Vanny. So here's the blue key, and once I collect it, listen for the chime. So it's gonna be out over here. And that chime will lead you right to the location of the fifth key. So we just gotta follow this until we spot it, and then we gotta go back to the center of the maze. The purple key can spawn anywhere. I'm gonna assume it's going to be either right here or back in that corner. Let's see, is it here? There's a cutout right over there. Yes. So that's the key. Hello, Foxy. The purple glitchy key. And now you hear that gate opening sound effect. That means the basement is now open. All right, here, Foxy. There's not gonna be a cutout down there, so let's wait a bit. I just love corn maze. I know. <laughs> Again, I'm not trying to brag, but I am clearly so good at it that you'd think it wouldn't be fun anymore. But it's just, it's such a fun game, bro. It's so fun. So right over here is going to be the basement door, and it's probably going to lag. Yep, there it goes. You go down in here. And then there is the Vanny mask. Our first ever appearance of Vanny in FNAF was right here. Oh, and I've hit my mic. I apologize. <laughs> but now, I am become Vanny. Destroyer of the Pizza Plex? I guess? I don't- she didn't really destroy any- well, she didn't do much anyways. That is the entirety of Afraid of the Dark Section 1 in Dreadbear done. Now let's move on to Spooky Mansion, starting off with Hallway Crawl. Probably one of my least favorites, just because it's not all that exciting. And there's gonna be doors on each side of the- of the hallway. Bonnie or Jacko- I think- no, I think it's Nightmare. Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica will poke out through them. There they go. And obviously- hey- I'm dead. And I was gonna say, Fox is here too, and if he spots you while you're moving, well, you're dead, as you can see right then. And eventually, if you take long enough, Freddy spawns behind you. So there's that too. So the whole nightmare gang is here. Okay, you guys go away. See ya. Freaking losers. Now, Foxy, don't be here. 
He's there. Oh, there's Freddy spawning in. Hello, Bonnie. I'm just gonna wait right here. Yep, there's Freddy. You gotta go, Bonnie. You gotta go, bro. You gotta go. Bye 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 see ya. Oh, God, it's freaking Foxy. No! Another door up here with Chica. And right there with Bonnie and Chica. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, you wanna go? <laughs> hey, Foxy. Hello. You stay right freaking there, thank you. And you don't get closer. And you don't get closer. Go away. Go away. I hear Freddy. So you can see Foxy collapse into a box. For some reason, that's the way he disappears. He just folds like a little folding chair into a box. Hi, Chica. Chica, you gotta go. Chica, you have got to leave. Please go. Oh, God. I see his shadow. No one open a goddamn door. No one needs to open any doors. That door needs to be closed. Bonnie, I'm approaching. Close the door. Thank you. I think I'm far enough into the hallway that Fox is not going to spawn in. Please, I can see his shadow. Yes. <gasps> this is huge. And Freddy's gone? F Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? I got scared by a wall? Really? Oh my god. You're kidding me. I got scared by a wall. Moving on now, build a mangle. This one's fun. Again, it's, it's, it's an interesting concept. You know, it's not scary at all. But it's fun. I love build a mangle. I spent most of my childhood building mangles, to the stomping Koopas. Today, we are assembling <gasps> animatronic performers. Yes! Each animatronic unit Shock. will be enjoyed to Shock. the children at one of You're supposed to use these on the Freddos that come down the conveyor belts, but just I've never done that. I don't think anyone's ever done that. You just take the jump the scare because it's not, station. it's not scary. Each work order is unique, so gather yes. only the components Mangle, do you want a fire extinguisher? No, Use okay. The high voltage shock buttons to gently remove any <laughs> unwanted critters that <laughs> stumble onto the Yeah, I think line. as the freddles approach, well, you shock, get to work. they they get stunned and you chuck them into the fires. Those are not synced up at all. Anyway, so very simple mini game. All of these props and all of these accessories on the monitors we have to throw into this bucket to build an adorable mangle animatronic. That is a balloon boy head. Usually, all right, we didn't need that apparently. I hit my microphone again. This is going to be very bad for my microphone. I'm going to try and <laughs> chuck it over my microphone. Usually, you need stuff like that, like a balloon boy head or a bonnie leg, usually go into the mangle. I think I need you, and I need a cupcake. I didn't need you. I think I need this, but I'm going to hang on to it, because I don't quite know just yet. I definitely need you. Definitely need you. What about this? Do I still need this? That didn't look like it went in. Give me that. That didn't look like it went in either. Um, this. Cool. And I need a head of the mangle. Come here. And that cupcake still didn't, didn't go in. What the hell? Well done. Okay. Well. Let's see how you did. How did I do? Look at my creation. Jesus Christ. Oh no. It looks <laughs> no. like there aren't enough components. Why is Balloon Perhaps Boy there? Instructions were not clear. No. Perhaps you should seek employment elsewhere. 50% I think I die. I definitely die. All right, I need a Freddy, Endo 2, I need a hand, I need some lovely slaying fingernails. I need a Balloon Boy too. Is that a Freddy? That's not a Freddy. I definitely need you though. So you get here. I'm gonna need you probably. You probably. Are stuff going in? I'm not hearing the sound effects for them going in. Nor am I seeing me actually grab them. I need you. A W, because that's all I all I get. Can I pick you up? Thank you. Do I need a balloon boy? I need both of you, actually. Anything else? This? Sure! Might as well. What else? I need like a, a hand. I need I need some hands to grab. Gimme give gimme give hands to grab. I need you. What else? I put in Freddy Fazbear arm. Freddy Fazbear. Freddy Fazbear. Yes. That's a hundred percent. Let's see how you did. Yes. Ninety. What did I do? Oh no. Oh, I think I threw one thing in that isn't supposed to be in there. The system must do a random purge. Ninety percent. I definitely win. Yeah, piece of cake. Oh my God, Freddy's hand with a microphone. 
and the NO2 is just in the middle of it all. Is just that simple. Engineering so is just that simple, Henry. That I could not agree more. This one clown again. What is this? An eat and cry. <laughs> well, it's, it's not false marketing. Let's move on. Trick or treat. This one's fun. There's, again, there's a lot of fun mini games in Curse of Dreadbear. Not many that I'd say are necessarily scary, but fun, absolutely. So this one, actually, fun fact. Please ring the bell. I'm pretty sure. If you hit this enough times. Yup, Jesus, hi Freddy. Because <laughs> it wants you to use the doorbell and not the the knocker on the door. So anyways, with this one, this is I, this might be one of my favorites. My second favorite behind Corn Maze. So this one, you gotta look through the windows and you gotta see which animatronics you can see through the windows. And if you can't see an animatronic, that means they're at the door. In which case, let's say Foxy's behind the door, I gotta wear the Foxy mask. If you don't understand, you're gonna find out. So there's three rounds. Let's start off with round one. So here we got Balloon Boy, Chica, Foxy, and Freddy. And Bonnie's back there. So everyone's in their correct placements. And they're all gonna start moving around. They're gonna start running around. There goes Chica. God, it's so cool just to watch them move around. So we got Chica moving. We got Bonnie on the move as well. Freddy. No, he's not moving. Just Chica and Bonnie right now. So Chica went past the door. So she's not going to be at the door. Is Bonnie past the door just yet? Bonnie is. So Freddy's on the move. So right now, it can't be anyone except Freddy. Where'd Chica go? Maybe Chica moved again. There goes Foxy as well. So Foxy's away. Where's Chica? Okay, Chica's back there. So it has to be Freddy. Bonnie, Balloon Boy, Chica, Foxy. It's got to be Freddy. And you can, you can hear the time going, so time's running out. Dum, 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 dum. Freddy! Open up the door. Trick or treat! Hi, Freddy. Yes? Freddy! And you can actually take off the mask and look at him in all of his glory. Bye, Freddy. Round two. So, right. Oh, you hear Balloon Boy laughing. He's moving. Okay, Balloon Boy's out of the count. Freddy's still at the door. Bonnie's on the move. Bonnie, Freddy. And I think starting on round two, the mangle appears in the windows, and you gotta put on the mangle mask to scare them away. Okay, Chica's on the move. Bonnie's passed. So Chica and Freddy. Fox is on the move as well, but he's back, so it's not him. Hi, mangle. You definitely didn't scare me. Move, 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 move. No! Okay, Balloon Boy, Chica. Bonnie, Freddy. So it's gotta be Foxy. Where'd Chica go? Okay, Chica's fine. Right? Bonnie's eyes. Freddy, it's gotta be Foxy. I'm ready for Foxy. Come on, Foxy. Show me Foxy. Yay! Hi! Hello! <laughs> Alright, final round. There goes Chica. Chica's on the move. The first move. Balloon Boy's still back there. Bonnie's on the move too. We got Chica, Bonnie on the move. Bonnie and Chica on the move. Where are they going to? Bibi's on the move too. That's Bonnie, Chica, and Bibi. All on the move. Mangle's in my window. Not anymore. I'm moving too much. I'm gonna fall over. Bonnie's back. Chica's back. Freddy's on the move. So we got Freddy, we got Balloon Boy on the move. Balloon Boy's back. So we got Freddy on the move. It's gonna be Freddy. Fox is on the move. Mangle's right there. Chica's on the move. BB, Bonnie, Foxy. So it's Chica or Freddy. Who the hell is it? It's got to be, it's got to be Freddy. I can see Chica's feet. I recognize those feet from anywhere, Chica. Freddy! I'm ready for Freddy. Yes, dude. I love this game. Hi, Freddy. Give me treats! Give them to me. Yes! 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 Woo! That... That was fun. <laughs> Three wolves again. Hey, and a balloon boy mask. A souvenir from my tr from my... <laughs> my trime. My time trick or treating. Lastly, for Spooky Mansion, we've got Dreadbear. This one's fun, but it can be a little bit tough. 
I feel like I often lose at this minigame when I feel like I've done everything correctly. So we're gonna see how it goes. <clears throat> Welcome back to Research and Development. Thank you. Today, we are using science to pervert the mysteries of life and reanimate the inanimate. Awesome. To begin, it is customary for the creator to give a melodramatic speech. <clears throat> Go on, I'll wait. Hey guys, uh... Yeah, All this, done? Okay. Good job. Now, it's a lot of pressure, man. Give me a break. With a controlled shot. <gasps> Turn the crank to lower the platform. I understand that reference. Do 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 do. Show me, my boy. My beautiful boy. Hello, Dreadbear. God, he looks so cool. Dreadbear is one of the coolest FNAF characters ever. Just look at his design. That's a bit too close, though. Now we're gonna flip the switch. But before I do that. Let me explain this minigame, because it's pretty complex. I understand. Never mind. Hey! So there's a whole bunch of different things we, we got to do. First of all, we got to match these colors to these parts of the brain. And I am going to do this pretty quick, because I, this minigame goes by very quick. I understand. I understand. Use the blueprint as a guide for I know, I know. This color goes here. The, the green... When you are satisfied, I think it's this one. Place the brain in I the think it's this one. Head it's gotta be that one, because I've already done it. Red goes here. Let's flip that again. So the, the purples, there's a lot of different purples. So this is the darkest of the purples, which means I think that goes there. This is the brightest, so I think that one goes not there. God damn it. That goes there. Hiya. And that was this green, I think. Yes, so now we gotta do these things. Okay. What? Okay, I've gotta get the yellow. I've gotta crank this bad boy up. I've gotta get that yellow all the way up to a 10. Come on, Dreadbear, come to life! Really? I did all that? Come on. And then we only have one flip left? Alright, we gotta do this quick. We gotta match this, so it's going very slow. And there's only three humps. We gotta make this look like that. So there's only three humps. It's going quite slow. Like that? Not at all like that. No. No! Okay. What do you look like? No, it needs to, it needs to go up. And it needs to be going a lot slower. Yes. A lot slower. Like that. Not at all like that! Shoot. Like that. Exactly like that. So I think we're done. Dreadbear, would you like to accept the brain? You can see just how complex this minigame is and why I don't feel confident. Yeah, no. Shoot! What did I do wrong? Alright, I'm gonna go quick. I'm gonna start off with this. So that needs to go down. Yeah, no. It's alive. What? The necessary oh, sure. That needs to be three. So let's one. And let's get to colorizing. That's red. I understand. That's blue all the way over here. The That's this. The color That's yellow. And That's going to be the darkest purple. Carefully purple guy. In the Cyan. Head Turquoise. That's going to be the next darkest. And lightest. Nope, that's not what I want. That's this. And then that's this. I think, man. I don't freaking know. Wow, okay, that is very fast. That's very spiky. Let's crank all these up. And is that just it? Hold on. Yep, that's it. I think I'm satisfied. But again, I mean, it's up to Dreadbear. Are you happy, buddy? I want the best for you. Well done. Yes. It's okay. To introduce the creature to the kids. Focus <sighs> testing and troubleshooting. Hi. <gasps> it's like watching your son go off to school. So all we've got left now is Danger Keep Out, which is kind of like a remix of FNAF 1. You're going to see what I mean if you've not seen it yet. It takes place in FNAF 1's location, and the objective is pretty much the same. So, as you can see, FNAF 1. Shut up, phone guy. So we've got Jacko Bonnie, Dreadbear, 
and Jack O'Chica here instead of the traditional characters. Oh, and also Grim Foxy, but he's not going to be active for a bit. So Bonnie and Chica, walks, they walk pretty much the same. Chica's going to come to this door, Bonnie's going to come to this door, but instead of closing the doors, because we can't do that, we need to flash the light, and that's going to spook them away. But we can only flash the light so many times, and then we've got to pull this switch and reset the power. Ironically enough, pretty similar to what happens in the movie, with Mike resetting the power to, like, awake the spirits or so whatever happens at the end of the movie. Anyways, I appear to have lost both Bonnie and Chica. They move quite fast. I cannot tell if Bonnie's there. You can also just not watch them on the cameras and keep track of these doors, but... I don't, I'm, a, I'm a man of honor. I like playing FNAF the way it was intended. So here comes Bonnie. So let's get ready to spook him away. There we go. He almost hit the door because <laughs> I missed the button. <laughs> but you can see it went down by 20%. So we got five light flashes until we got to reset the power. And resetting the power takes quite a bit. So this game is actually pretty strategic. But for night one, Bonnie and Chica are the only characters active, so we don't have to worry too, too much. But eventually on night two, Grim Foxy gets introduced. He walks exactly the, uh, exactly the same way as FNAF 1 Foxy, though I don't think you can stall him. I think he always just has phases that he goes through and then rushes to the office and then you gotta flash him. Okay, no one's back there. Bonnie's coming though. Never mind, that's a jack-o'-lantern trying to fake me out. Uh, but Dreadbear happens on night three, and he is a pain in the butt. You gotta stalk him through the cameras, flash him when he starts moving on the cameras, and that'll freeze him in, in place for a little bit, but not forever. So you always gotta be on the- Hi! Where did you come from? All right, I missed- I missed you. Is that Chica? Oh god, I'm paranoid now. Oh god, no! I was too busy focusing on the future nights. I wasn't thinking about the present nights. Hey! Problemo. I don't need you taking any more damage to my door. Hey, light. There is also a secret in this mini game where I forget exactly what you have to do, but everything like becomes weird. I don't even know how to explain it. Everything like gets all cody and glitchy. Nothing makes any sense. That was like one of the only Easter eggs I didn't cover just because I didn't know it was real at the time. Like, it is so bizarre, I legit thought it was fake. Here comes Chica. Hey, Chica. I'm gonna flash. Flash. Where's Bonnie? Because I would like to reset my power. It is getting quite low. I hear someone laughing. Ooh, okay, Bonnie's in the supply closet. Okay, ooh, they're both on the way. Oh, trying to double tag team me, huh? Oh, kablammo. Kablammo. And there we go. And we're back in action, baby. And it's also 5 a.m., baby. A Freddy Fazbear mask. Yippee. Oh, yeah, you can also pop the balloons if you throw darts at them. No pirate ship. There was an Easter egg that, that Foxy's, Captain Foxy's pirate ship appears over there in the water. And also, Dreadbear rises from the water. But we've not gotten any of those, unfortunately, just yet. Shut up, phone guy! Oh, God. They're already moving. So usually with night two, I just keep an eye on Grim Foxy and then just watch these two doors. It's pretty boring. <laughs> oh, here it comes. Here's Foxy. Hey! I wasn't ready for that. And I think Foxy also makes a sound effect as he's running towards the office, so I'm just gonna keep this here, like I do in... Oh yeah, he's getting, oh, he's getting ready. Oh, he's getting Freddy. I'm just gonna keep this here and get ready. Boom. Yeah, you can hear that sound effect come into play. Oh no! You couldn't have shown up like two seconds sooner. I'm just gonna reset and everyone's gonna be fine. I don't wanna click off Foxy because part of my brain is like, no, you can't click away from Foxy. It's Foxy, you gotta, you gotta watch him on the cameras. Hey, Chica, you are a sneaky son of a chicken. And Foxy, you are getting ready to end my life. Whoa! I didn't hear any sound effect! Oh my god, Jesus Christ, Foxy. You know, usually, there is a chance, if I remember correctly, that they just stop existing. I'm gonna assume Bonnie has stopped existing. Oh. Hey, Chica. Yeah, I feel like I remember on launch, sometimes the animatronics just 
despawn, I guess? I guess... Uh, I'm gonna assume that that's happened with Bonnie, because I can't find him. So actually, something I completely forgot you could do to everyone except Dreadbear is flash them in the cameras to reset their position. So I don't even have to wait for Foxy to rush to the door, because I'm not gonna lie, he's killed me a few times now because he's not playing his sound effect, and then he just gets to the door. So I don't even have to wait for him to come to my door. I can just flash him when he's still on a stage, and then we're good. Obviously, when it comes to Dreadbear, uh, next night, we're gonna have to keep an eye on, on how many flashes we're doing because he's gonna take up a lot of the flashes. Here comes Chica. Go away, Chica. Here comes Foxy. Go away, Foxy. Oh, you sneaky son of a bunny. You thought I was gonna reset, but I, I obviously wasn't. I was tricking you so you would... That could have been very bad. Abracadabra. Shazam! Come on, Chica. Let me let me do a third. Let me a satisfying third one. No. You, you no. No. Why? Okay. <laughs> a bit later than I was hoping, but hey, you got there. It's actually a pretty good exercise. Hey, Bonnie. Blamo. Foxy Kablamo. With Chica, I think Chica fell off the face of the map again. There we go. Okay. Anything, clown? Holy. No! It would have been perfect! No! It would have been perfect! Oh, two out of three clown posters. You hate to see it. And we now move on to night three. Look at how terrifying that image is. The final minigame in Curse of Dreadbear. Like I said, this one's gonna be tough. So, I might focus up. Um, God damn it. I mean, Dreadbear takes a lot out of you. You can't flash him when he's on the stage, but you... You gotta follow him around the pizzeria, and it can be kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, there he goes. Foxy is already... Oh, my Christ. Okay, let's let's wait for him to get into the hallway, or the dining room, and then we can start flashing him. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot of switching between cameras. I see him over there. You can just barely see his eyes. Here's Foxy as well. Like, we've almost already got to hit the reset. Back to Dreadbear. He should still be in that dining hall. I'm, I'm not entirely sure his path. I know he goes into, like, Pirate Cove area, so I... I don't know. I don't freaking know. I'm just gonna be flashing. I'm just gonna be flashing all over the place. Or like, right there! Uh, right with Chica! Kablamo. Let's flash in there for safe measures. Flash you for safe measures. And reset. And hope that Bonnie is just falling off the map. First thing, flash. I saw Bonnie there, so that's two for one. Because, again, we... We should be getting Dreadbear. I'm I'm gonna assume he's still in the dining area. But I can't freaking see anything, so I don't even know, man. Where's Chica at? I would love to know. Maybe she's fallen off the map too. Oh, how wonderful that would be. Just everyone falling off the map. There he is. Did you not get flashed? Oh, I'm gonna die from Fox, I bet. Oh, it's Jover. Okay. No! Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I... Are you not entertained? What are you doing? Oh, shoot. Is he just beeline for my... For my hall? Where is he? Is he just... No! I was too busy focusing on where Dreadbear was. He sounded so close for some reason. Shoot. Ah, Chica don't be here. Chica be good to me. No! Chica, no! Chica bad! That's a bad chicken! That's a mighty bad chicken! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Jesus. Ugh. Go away. Go away. So I can no longer hit him in the dining room. Seems like it. Let's do that. Shoot, is he walking? Shoot. It's five. But he, but, ah, he's in the hallway now. No! Yo, you're shitting me! No! I see him. I didn't get him, though, apparently. Man. 
These guys just pick and choose when they want to be affected by my flash. He's still walking around! I flashed him twice! Yes! Okay, I think Chica died again. I couldn't find her. <laughs> uh, Dreadbear was so nice to me. He was so nice to me. Thank you, Dreadbear, for being so nice to me. No clowns, no clowns. Man, that's sad. Final prize. A Chica! Yippee! Replaying through it, it goes by so fast. Like... I am so sad that there's no hard mode. Like, they even left in the hard mode switch just to tease us. I I doubt they're going to come back to it, too. Like, after the Curse of Dreadbear release, I'm like, well, they've got the switch. Maybe they'll come back to it and add a hard mode. But now we've got Help Wanted 2, and I'm sure if they do DLC, it'll be for Help Wanted 2, which, I mean, I'd assume they're going to do DLC. They've done DLC for all their other FNAF projects, and... Dreadbear was hugely successful, Ruin was hugely successful, so I'm hoping we're gonna get another DLC for Help Wanted 2. Well, that is Curse of Dreadbear Revisited. It has gotten me so, so, so excited for Help Wanted 2. I, I freaking love this first Help Wanted game. I love Curse of Dreadbear. I cannot wait next week to hop into a brand new FNAF VR game. It's just gonna be so, so incredible. But hopefully, you all enjoyed this revisit into the world of Curse of Dreadbear, and like I said, next week, in less than a week actually, is Help Wanted 2. It's gonna be insane. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.